Welcome back to Learn SKN, and today we have a different video for you. This video is depicting some events from a training course, an aquaponics training course that some students went on. I, I accompanied the students on this training course. And you might ask, what is aquaponics? Now, you know what hydroponics is. Hydroponics is the planting of plants in a liquid medium. So the growing of plants in a, in a liquid medium. It could be water, uh, whatever liquid, and it's sprinkled in the nutrients that the plant would need to strive. But with aquaponics now, it's planting the crops in uh, over uh, water that contains fishes. So the waste material from the fishes, as you can see here, would be used to as nutrients for the crops, for the plants. Normally they tend to use a lot of leafy crops, and so you can see the fishes there in the tank, and the waste material will be used as the nutrients for the plants, the crops. And so what you see there is the apparatus, a very easy to knock up apparatus, a demonstration apparatus that was used, to aquaponics apparatus that was used to show the students how aquaponics really works. So that's a little guided tour there of the the demonstrative unit. You have the pumps there that can help to a pump and filter, that can filter the water because you don't want the water to become too dirty because it can end up killing the fishes. So the fishes need the water clean enough and then their waste material will be channeled through the upper part of the apparatus via the pump and the plants would be in that cup and their roots would be touching the water that contains the material, the waste material from the fish. And so the fish would be grown or uh, reared elsewhere. As you can see, they are reared in a big tub. And so this is just... A, a part of someone's operation that they have already. They are an aquaponics farm, and so they were demonstrating to the students how aquaponics really works. So they were taking some of the fishes they had in their, ma their large tanks, and they're gonna transport them into the apparatus they saw just now. That's why you saw the fishes in just now. So those fishes came from a large tank, and they are going to go into the smaller tank just for demonstration, demonstration purposes. As you can see here, they actually captured some of the, the fishes. You can see here we're we inspecting the fishes to see which ones we should be using for the demonstrative unit. We got what we want some males, some females. We want some nice ones. We don't want any that might have been, you know, a little sickly looking or anything like that. So we choose we're choosing the best ones from the from the pool. And so we're gonna transport them into the demonstrative unit, demonstration unit, so that the students can see exactly how this thing goes and you have to wear your gloves of course because you have to protect yourself because the fish they have their fins and their fins tend to contain little things that can sp um, dig um, dig in your hands and cause you to get injured so you don't want to get injured so he that person is a professional there he's the one who, who owns the farm and so he could afford to use one glove but most of the students who are taking part in the process in the training process use their gloves so that they don't get dig by the fins and the spikes from the fish and of course those fishes are a, a variety of tilapia fishes t freshwater fish tilapia and so the tilapia is normally used to in a, a part of aquaponics because there are some freshwater fish that can grow large enough to be plate size you want plate size you go to a restaurant and you order your, your, your fish and you get your tilapia you want them at a certain level a certain size and so you grow them until you reach a certain size and so we're inspecting this one you should demonstrate to the students how you identify a good one, a bad one, a male, a female, the sex, that kind of thing. And so, of course, they're really slippery fish, so the fish almost fall to the ground there. So, and right to the back, you would have seen some plants in, 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 in trays, and those are the ones you're going to use in the cups later on that you would see if you stick around to the end of the video. Again, we're looking at a different species, not species, different variety of the tilapia. We're inspecting to see which is a good one, which is a bad one, in terms of breed, a viable breed, a uh, preferred breed, I must say. We're looking to see which is male, female, and looking to see if they are to mate, what type you would expect based on the color of the, the, the tail. The, the color of the tail can tell you a lot about what the fish, the offspring of the fish, can look like. And so here we have the other part of aquaponics where you have the plants now, and they are transplanted 
from the crazy sub before into these cups and they are going to be placed this this material is floating is a floating material it can float underwater and so it, can, it will be placed on top of the the demonstration unit and so the bottom of the cups are open they have slits in them that allow it allows the roots of the plants to touch the water and absorb the nutrients that they need from the mat waste material from the fish and so you put you cut it out nice and precise so they can eggs fit nice and snug all right so that's basically it for this video you so that's aquaponics in a nutshell you know what to do like subscribe and tune in for learn skn next time